Everyone is Kanga here and in this video we're talking about all the exotic weapons that you can get at the start of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. I'll have timestamps in the description for all the different exotics and times that I talk about them in the video. And I'm going to be starting off with the Chug Cannon which you actually get from Llamas. Now there are 5 Llamas across the map, there's no secret to finding them really, you just have to get lucky. And now in the Llama is going to run away from you and you have to kill it before it disappears. Which I don't think there's a set amount of time for that. I think it's random, I mean, it's around 30 seconds or so. I'm just gonna kill this llama here. You can see that I killed the llama. And then when I get over there in a second, you'll see that it has dropped the chug cannon. It works the exact same way that it used to, probably better in squads, because you can heal your teammates at the same time as well. And just like the bandage bazooka, it will lock onto um, it will lock onto people. I can't really show you that now because I've only got myself here, obviously. But you can see right there, I've got the chug cannon, and I'll move on over to the next exotic weapon now. Next up is the Marksman 6 shooter, which you can get from the abstract NPC found here on the map north of retail rows. This is the one that just does extra damage when you hit headshots and it's just like the original six shooter. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't have too much gold to be spending on exotics and I don't really like the six shooter anyway but if you do want to pick up the maximum six shooter you can get it from the abstract NPC north of retail row. The next exotic weapon is the shadow tracker pistol as you can see here which you can buy from Maven at the satellite dish east of craggy cliff so again that's here on the map. It's going to cost you 400 gold, probably one of my favourite exotic weapons, especially this season since the alternatives apart from the Chug Cannon aren't that great, but again the Shadow Tracker is going to be here from the Maven NPC. The next exotic you get from the Gudgemon NPC who is going to spawn here at Loki's Lighthouse and it's going to be the Nighthawk exotic revolver, not one of my favourites, but with this NPC you actually have to kill him first as you can see if I try to get too close to him, he's going to get angry at me. So you are going to have to kill him before you can buy the exotic or do anything else with him, really, for that matter. So I've killed him here, and then you can see he actually drops a scar, which won't mind if I do actually. And then you can see right there the Nighthawk exotic, that's the scope revolver and the exotic version of it, it makes it thermal. And you can see that's going to cost you 400 gold. Yeah, again, that's the Gudgemon NPC, Loki's lighthouse on the north part of the map and he's going to sell you the Nighthawk exotic weapon. So the final place we get an exotic of the NPC you can get the exotic from is the right NPC. He's found here at the Yellow Steel Bridge. So I'll just take him out now. And the weapon that he's going to drop you is actually the Storm Scout Sniper Rifle, which got taken out last season. Didn't get the best weapons to take the NPC out with. Get one more shot and then he'll be down. And then I will show you the Storm Scout exotic sniper. Alright, so you kill him just like that, and then he's gonna respawn, and then from him you can buy the Storm Scout Exotic Sniper for 500 gold. So that's all the exotics so far in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. If more do get added, which they probably will at some point, I will update this video and add the new NPC or add the new exotics and the NPC that you probably have to buy them from. Oh dear. But um yeah, if you guys have any more questions about the exotics this season, comment that down below. Or just any questions about Fortnite, and I'll do my best to get back to that. If you found this video useful at all, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, all those things help me out massively. And if you want to support me as a creator, that's going to be code Kanga in the Fortnite item shop. Otherwise though, that's it for me for now, and I will see you all next time. See ya!